Meanwhile, we all know that Silicon Valley is where the world's most brilliant minds come together to help humanity reach its highest potential, which is shopping on the toilet. <laughs> Christmas is coming. And Whoa, no. innovation don't come cheap. In the second quarter of 2017, venture capitalists invested in tech companies to the tune of $1.65 billion. Now, sure, Puerto Rico doesn't have water or power. But soon, they might have Bluetooth waffle irons. <laughs> there are just so many great tech opportunities right now, and I want in. Which leads us to our new segment, Go Fund Yourself. <laughs> now, a lot of people work in open concept offices, but privacy can be an issue. So investors are banking on a new product called Hush Me, a personal acoustic device that protects speech privacy in open space environments. Great. Except that it looks like something a serial killer makes his victims wear. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin or else it wears the Hush Me personal acoustic device. <laughs> I'd Hush Me. <laughs> hush Me muffles your voice. Plus, it has speakers that play noise to cover up your call. Noises like Ocean, Monkey, Darth Vader, and Minion. So. <laughs> You can go from being the guy who takes phone calls at his office and is kind of annoying to the guy who plays minion sounds at the office and whose body has still not been found. <laughs> it's, it's a great invention. I'm giving it for Christmas to at least one person. <laughs> but... That's good luck. That's a good luck. I wonder who. I wonder who. But... Silicon Valley really loves a company that can disrupt. Netflix disrupted the way you watch movies. Uber disrupted the way you get rides. Tinder disrupted the way you date. Unless you were already hooking up with polyamorous DJs named Dakota. <laughs> and the next game-changing tech disruptor is the Pause Pod, a private pop-up relaxation space for at home, on the go, even at work. Pop-up relaxation? Let's look at the latest cutting-edge developments in... It's a tent. It's a tent. <laughs> it's a tent. Ah. Tech dudes. Tech. Yay. Yeah. Okay? Tech dudes. Stop inventing things that are already things. <laughs> there are so many non-things that still need to be invented. How about some pants that automatically transfer my wallet to the next pants I'm wearing? I would offer you money to develop that, but I left my wallet in my other pants. <laughs> and this tent ran a crowdfunding campaign that raised $146,000. Now, I know you can get a tent on Amazon for like 20 bucks, but Pause Pod needed the extra $146,000 to develop the leg sleeve. <laughs> oh, you gotta have the leg sleeve, otherwise this thing would be stupid. Check out some of the promo material. You just set up your pause pod and take a nap in your office. Wait! Wait, there's an office where you can just set up a nap tent in the middle of the floor? Are they hiring? <laughs> pause pod is also great for making children in the park solve your riddles, taking a load off while another man raises your child, <laughs> or eating your shameful work banana. No matter how you use it, <laughs> we didn't make that up. <laughs> However you use it, Pause Pod makes a statement. Specifically, is Rick okay? <laughs> <laughs> he just took his banana into his little tent. <laughs> Again. There's nothing sharp in there, is there? The inventors caught a lot of heat for the pause pod, you know, being a tent. <laughs> but instead of issuing an apology, they gave an interview in which they said, we never claimed it's not a tent. <laughs> Adding, suckers! Well, Daddy's got to get his beak wet, too, so I'm disrupting the intra-office privacy game with my own invention. It's called... Cubely. <laughs> Q 
Cubely is the ultimate office hack. It brings a brand new user interface to the state of the art wearable tech. <laughs> Disrupted yet? Plus, plus, check it out. Does banana stain... <laughs> I'm asking for a half a million dollars in seed funding, <laughs> which will go toward material staff and our brand new 4,000 square foot office space in Palo Alto. We have a chef there who makes crepes in a sweat lodge. And remember, I never said it's not a cardboard box. <laughs> we'll be right back with...